this trip was my seventh or eighth time in Iran, but my first time actually living there. I had planned to stay for about a year because I, I really wanted to take my time to immerse myself in the culture of this huge and diverse country. But then, of course, the corona crisis hit Iran, and pretty hard. After spending three to four weeks in my flat in Tehran with a group of friends, we were all a little on the edge and really itching to get out there. When we finally got word that the ski resort roads would open up again soon, which were the, yeah, the only access to snow at that time, we didn't hesitate to get going. The plan was to find a way into the mountains just north of Tehran, where we wanted to try to get up to Mount Kulumbastak. It seemed like a good choice for this first and very unique mission, while the world was still on hold. After about two hours of driving, we reached a roadblock, and from there we had to walk to reach this ski resort of Dizin, where we planned to set up our base camp. That's for sure, at least two more hours, maybe two and a half. But so far it's nice. But in the end it took us about five hours to get to the resort. So we all just fell asleep straight away, even though it was well below freezing up there. Life is a bit harder in the tent, but it's also a bit nicer. So, yeah, good night. The next morning we walk up to the crazy side of a completely empty ski resort. One that's usually packed with people skiing at the time of the year. In fact, we had been up there skiing ourselves just weeks before and it had been a very different scene then. The ski resorts are usually fun places where people just relax and have a good time. Each up might be replaced by Beanie, the music gets cranked up a little more and the nights can get a bit wild sometimes. <laughs> but not this time. This time it was just us on a beautiful warm and sunny day. Which was quite nice after such a cold night but not ideal for our plans. a long time being stuck inside and the whole world being under lockdown I was just happy and truly grateful to be out there skiing and to have the freedom to explore again. 